scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. The Bible declares that the path of the just can be as a shining light. When it is not built by patterns, it will not last. I assure you, no matter how flamboyant it looks, don't trust it because of the aesthetics. Trust it because of the patterns. That when the rain comes, when the wind blows, it will stand because it was built upon the rock. Ministry, let it be built upon patterns. There are many people, for instance, who start ministry just because they heard the voice of God. That looks very spiritual, but it's a dangerous motivation for ministry. God told me, go and start ministry. That's wonderful. So why did you start the ministry? I know that God told me, I am sending you to heal the sick. I am sending you to be an evangelist. The voice of God must submit to the patterns for church growth. Otherwise, you will be surprised that even though it is God sending you, you will suffer as if it's not, his voice is not in your life. Are we together there are many sincere people who are under all kinds of limitations in life because they exalted prophecy they exalted the speakings of spirits they exalted the advices of men even well-intentioned people above the patterns of God hear me if you never hear any audible voice and all you do is submit to the integrity of scripture you will have the result that is greater than one who hears every day and does not walk in the patterns listen to what I'm telling you Africa is a place of a lot of spirituality delving now into superstition our strength is based on the numerous noise of voices sincere and insincere all together none of them let me tell you no matter how well meaning sustains the ability to keep a man you must subscribe to the patterns no matter who prophesies or blesses your business it does not sustain the ability to produce results transgenerationally until in addition to that voice and that prophecy you subscribe to the pattern that makes for longevity of anything are we together patterns are powerful sustainable results fruits that abide you want to build something that lasts please look up you want to be in ministry or in business or in whatever endeavor you are involved in for a very long time leaders are intentional people they are men of mastery nobody wins the olympic by mistake no patterns when you have the patterns you cannot only perpetuate the results you can reproduce them anywhere regardless it is true it is true Patterns give you sustainability, look up please, and predictability to your result. When you are up today and down tomorrow, favor today, disfavor tomorrow, 
laughing today smiling tomorrow there's too much amateurism and guess what in your work you have to back up and begin to study the patterns that bring predictability to your life are we together for instance using business people as a case study there are many wealthy and blessed people today who rose to the ranks of, of financial abundance through knowledge they can reproduce and perpetuate their results regardless the geographic region regardless the policies surrounding them because they built by light there are others who respectfully speaking maybe just looted from the treasury even though they have it they can't perpetuate it they can't reproduce it because it did not come through understanding hallelujah god is giving you predictability because you see when you succeed usually men will believe you are lucky <laughs> but when your results become sustained there's no more luck there you don't become sustainably successful by luck gentiles can come to your light but their kings only come to the brightness of your rising this is true for any aspect of life politics and governance business ministry career family whatever it is provided you hold the keys the patterns that are responsible for that outcome i had the privilege of watching god's servant i couldn't make it and i was watching the 40th anniversary of the living faith and while i heard him preach at a point quite honestly i was not just listening to the sermon again i was saying i remember or i can imagine when the ministry was say 10 or 15 years probably he said after 40 years we'll still be doing this i'm sure there are people who said you are not sure but now after 40 years when i looked at papa copeland in his 80s speaking with such conviction i said patterns are dangerously powerful they look like they will fail but you will keep working with them for a long time and they will not fail the simplicity of patterns is why they are not trusted patterns are deceptfully simple if it be thou bid me come come he said and such a complicated issue like walking on water suddenly becomes child's play because someone learned to obey the master spiritual patterns give you predictability and sustainability let me tell you this 30 years if christ tarries 40 years if christ tarries you will still be standing and waxing strong and moving forward because you are not moving yourself forward there is an agency a combination of the spirit and understanding moving you forward fear your result if it just happened but if it happened by patterns rest leads me to the third point spiritual patterns give us peace and confidence it's one thing to have results but it's another thing to trust and to be secured in the results that you have peace and confidence isaiah 33 and verse 6 it says wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of your times wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of your times when you have wisdom when you have knowledge it gives you stability you no longer are afraid of your results why because the some of you here are chefs some of you here are wonderful people when it has to do with cooking and the rest if you ask me now as anointed as i am you bring me ingredients and say quickly you are giving 30 minutes or two hours cook something you have to sign that whatever i cook you must eat it so that i don't know i'm i'm sure that i'm not wasting my time are we together I'll have to pray, except if the Holy Ghost just appears and says, add this. After 10 minutes, add this. It's not that bad, but I think it's not good too. I'm not... <laughs> Are we together? Yeah. Why? It's not because the food cannot be made. There is a lot of guessing. You'll be surprised that salt may be the first thing I'll add. <laughs> and then add any other thing, mix them. I'll just mix whatever the menu says and close it. And say, Lord, I unto you I commit this meal. But there are some of you here, 
even if we say cook for all of us even if it's for 20,000 people all you need is space and time you will surprise us like you are cooking for one person because you are cooking out of knowledge you are not afraid of what you are doing the number does not matter the formula is the same are you seeing that now yes so you are no longer afraid of your results listen god is helping you to take away fear the moment you are afraid can i deliver can i not deliver that is a report card go back and become a master masters don't fear they, they are saturated by the ordinances that keep them on top they are secured by it when you say god help me he does not say ah you are about to disgrace my name we're talking of the ancient of days he now says claire let me see that challenge God, I've never seen it. He said, it doesn't matter. I'm creator. I can take it out of the way. Mastery. We must fade away fear from our lives. Fear of producing results. God blesses your business. You make great gain and you're afraid because you are sure it will not last. The moment you are sure it's not, it will not last, you are right. It won't last. I'm called into ministry. What is the guarantee that I'll still be blessing people? What is the guarantee that if I stand on the crusade ground, the sick will be healed? What's the guarantee that if I speak, God is directing me and saying, I'm blessing people. I'm imparting someone. Ah, let me not announce it. Oh, what if I now say your name is John and nobody comes out? What if I now say God is giving speed and everybody's looking at you? No, it is a call for mastery. You go back and learn the ways of the spirit. How can you walk when you don't know the way of the wind? How can you run when you don't know the way of the spirit? How can you fly when you don't know the way of the wind? His power at work in you, changing everything in obedience to Christ. Tonight, swallow your pride. Tonight, come to the school of the Spirit. Don't you know, in His hands are the keys to eternal life. It's a little here a little dear and then your day will dawn he's at work in you changing everything in obedience to christ he's the holy ghost he's the holy ghost he's the spirit of the living god he's the holy ghost the scepter of the king of kings is the Holy Ghost the seal of the age to come? He's changing everything in obedience to Christ, rearranging everything in obedience to Christ. You are building everything. Please sit down. We have to pray. Peace and confidence. Leviticus 26 and verse 6. A scripture I found that blessed me years ago. Please read with me if you're a Christian. Ready? One to read. And I will give you peace in the land. Say amen. amen. Let's keep reading. And ye shall lie down, and none shall make you afraid. And I will read evil beasts out of the land. Neither shall the sword go through your land. why job told us a secret that the lord would deliver you from six things one of it is the scourging tongues of men he said because you have a covenant with the stones do you know what that means that every manipulation of witchcraft depends on the elements of creation to work but i have a covenant with them so when you use them against me they will not work they were authorized to support me and not fight me whether you use water whether you use the stones whether you use the rocks whether you use animals there is a covenant between me and creation that no enchantment 
and no divination can stand so i find rest i can sleep with my eyes closed please sit down thou shalt not be afraid of the arrows that fly by day the noisome pestilence the destruction help them please that wasted in noonday there are all kinds of evils sweeping across our world you get up in the morning you are stretching outside you just receive something you have no business receiving you return back into a life of tragedies someone shout no way And confidence many believers are afraid we pray out of fear we walk out of fear how am I sure that if I lose this job there is a way out how am I sure my destiny will be fine now that I'm 40 or 50 or 60 how am I sure they are not going to diagnose me with maybe kidney or prostrate find rest I will be still and know you are God. My soul be still and know you are God. Truly I will be still and know you are God. My soul be still and know you God is giving us peace and rest. It used to be elderly people who have high blood pressure. Right now you see teenagers moving around, talking as if they are 50 years. Someone who is 19, speaking foolishly. What is wrong? And he's not even aware. May that spirit be far from your life. Far from your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Worry. There are people who sleep, they have to take pills that are as full as my hand. In their, their teens, their 20s, their 30s, their 40s, it's almost killing you. Find peace. Mastery of the patterns of God. Can, you can secure his presence. You can know he's there. Waiting for a feeling is nonsense. You can know he's there. I will be still. And know you are God we will be still and know you are God but apostle while I'm being still how shall these things be seeing that I know not a man how shall these things be how shall my life be lifted are you sure God will not disappoint me should I truly put all my eggs in one basket? If it is the divine patterns of God, you can die believing him, I assure you. But before you make boast, be sure that you are walking by his patterns. Because if you are not walking by his patterns, shame is imminent. But if by his patterns, then you can be sure that his divine power can give men all things that pertains unto life and godliness. Listen to me. God in this season is going to be challenging many of you to do a lot of things. Ambitious things. Daring things. He's going to give you instructions. You may do what you have never done in your life before. Find rest. Trust the patterns. Even if you do not trust yourself. For some of you, God will speak to you and say, Alright, by next month, start that building. And the only thing you have is 10 bags of cement and a land you are still negotiating and god will say you go and get one trailer of sharp sand boy there let the devil see it that the hand of zerubbabel let me tell you this god can only become omega if you allow him become alpha if you refuse i initiate that dimension lord you must be alpha then he's guaranteed to be omega write this down the Bible is a coded compendium 
of spiritual patterns the bible is a coded compend bible is a coded compendium listen carefully the bible is a coded compendium of spiritual patterns that lead to various kinds and various levels of extraordinary results i was teaching the school of ministry students i think it was yesterday and we were examining pneumatology and i was telling them that the bible just because every kingdom has secrets are we in agreement every kingdom has secrets and the secrets are hidden listen carefully they can hide the treasures of the kingdom somewhere there can be coded doors some of the doors are even hidden in dimensions it's not a physical door you invoke you enchant things and then the doors appear they are hidden in dimensions planes of reality the bible this book you see is more than a book with information it is a compendium of coded secrets from the old testament to the new testament the gospels the epistles down till revelation it is coded and full of mysteries that control different levels of results just reading them intellectually may not grant you access to all of those coded information the bible says let me show you a scripture that will bless you very quickly and then we'll pray isaiah 29 please from verse 11 and 12 isaiah 29 verse 11 and 12 very quickly and the vision of all is become unto you as the words of what a book koinonia read with me a book that is sealed just because it is opened does not mean it is opened you can open your bible but it is still sealed which men deliver to one who is educated saying read this i pray and he said i cannot why for it is sealed next verse it says and the book is delivered to him that is not learned saying read this i pray thee and he said i'm not even educated in the first place what kind of a book is that that whether you are educated or not it doesn't mean anything as far as decoding the mysteries are there your life not prophetically directly is written in this book you are seeing believe me this is not just a prophetic statement it's a literal statement but until god opens your eyes you will find something that was written in the bible that has not been fulfilled by anybody and you will know you are the one it was written for not just to apply it prophetically directly but until god opens your eyes you will not see the messianic prophecy was written hundreds of years before jesus came many people saw it and they thought they were the ones to fulfill it but when jesus came in luke chapter 4 the bible says he was given the scroll of Isaiah for to read when he opened it he said the spirit of the lord is upon me when he was done saying it he said today this scripture is fulfilled that means i am the one this was written about you will be surprised to know how many things were written about you and your family until god connects the dots psalm 25 and verse 14 here it is the secret of the lord the secret of the lord god has secrets believers hear me god has secrets not everything is in plain sight the secret of the lord is with them that fear him the hebrew word yirat adonai the spirit of reverence is with them that fear him and he will show them listen there is a dimension of spiritual truth that cannot be studied you are initiated like occultism into that body of truth you cannot find it on your own it's the spirit of grace that will draw your hands and take you to that inner chamber of the spirit and you will see mysteries it says open down my eyes that i may behold behold wondrous things from out of thy law until then i'll just be reading the law but when my eyes are open then i will now see hallelujah matthew chapter 13 and verse 11 
Jesus was teaching and he said because it has been given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom please look up these patterns as coded as they are they were encapsulated into a body of knowledge the Bible calls mysteries please shout it after me say mysteries the mysteries of the kingdom what are they the hidden code of operation these are the body of truth that help believers to excel in light the body of truth are located for my victory and your victory they are called mysteries happy is a man that finds them happy is the man who god causes to approach him when you approach him he grants you access to these mysteries when you find it they are life to those who find them your life becomes episodes of wonder just when you think you have exhausted a dimension you will see another one unfolding Ephesians chapter 3 let's do a long reading and then we'll pray there was a man in scripture called Paul he later would become the apostle of the Lamb this was a man who was learned he was a Pharisee and then when he began to communicate certain depths of the spirit Paul noticed that every time as he sojourned mentoring and building the church even the very apostles of the lamb were concerned are you sure about these things you are teaching and paul said listen before i start my lecture i need for you to know the basis give it to us verse one for this cause i paul the prisoner of jesus christ for you gentiles reading to verse 10 if ye have learned of the dispensation of the grace of god which was which is given me to you word that means for your sake a measure of grace was given how that by revelation you see it there he made known unto me the mystery a body of truth was given to me as an apostle for the sake of a generation he's explaining now that as complicated as my thoughts are you need to understand that these are not fabrications of a pharisee's intelligence i was drawn like being initiated into a room and i was given a body of truth for a generation as i wrote afore in few words verse 4 it says whereby when ye read ye may understand my knowledge in the mystery of christ five which in other ages here it is was not made known unto the sons of men wow these dimensions were not revealed to anyone it says as it is now revealed unto his holy apostles and prophets by the spirit verse 6 that the gentiles should be fellow heirs and of the same body and partakers of the promise in christ by the gospel seven whereof i was made a minister according to the gift are you seeing it there the gift of the grace of god given unto me by the effectual working of his power eight unto me who i am less than the least of the saints is this grace given that i should preach among the gentiles the unsearchable riches of christ two more verses and to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery which from the beginning of the world had been hid in god who created all things by christ what do we do with these mysteries verse 10 to the intent this is why these mysteries are given there are arrogant principalities and powers that will not respect god nor the saints so this mystery was given as a way of punishing the powers of darkness and forcing them to acknowledge the superiority of christ to the intent that now to the principalities and powers in heavenly places might be known by the church the manifold wisdom when those minis, those mysteries manifest we call them the wisdom of god 
but listen to me they are a body of truth i'm praying that you will believe what i'm telling you and you will be surprised to see the way your life will change mysteries when you hold them like a bunch of keys you can find rest knowing that your life must become exceptional all you need to do is begin to travel when you stand before a door you check and remember the holy ghost is with you there what mystery opens that door and he says open this twice the mystery that opens this door is there is he that scattered and yet increased there is he that withholding more than his meat and tends to poverty you get to a door and the mystery that opens it is that you sow both bread and seed seed is for eating bread is for sowing but there are certain doors that both bread and seed together is what opens them that you can cast your bread before the waters and in this case you will find it after many days then you open that door you can get to another door it says i will call upon the lord who is worthy of praise by doing that i will be safe from my enemy so when it is clear that defeat is imminent you will back up like the days of jehoshaphat write your prayer request on the ground and dance like a madman while people are sleeping over something you know has been concluded and while that is happening ah the god of heaven all our is turning things around yeah all our is turning things around all our is turning things around at midnight while the rest were sleeping paul and silas said you wasted your time by closing this door you would have chained me in the days of my ignorance but we are not just here as empty apostles we know what to do when they prayed they saw angels they said get out of my way i need god himself to come here the bible says they sang they sang aloud because they are singing aloud was putting pressure on his integrity suddenly the one who sits on the throne they sang it so beautifully and even unto the lamb he arose and said nonsense let me see the gate that is covering you and he scattered it into pieces let me show you peace and rest that comes through master mastery the jailer took knife to kill himself he said don't rush this is a result we can reproduce again there's no point killing yourself when jesus resurrected he did not rush out of the grave no no there's no need rushing i rose up by myself what am i running for and he came out with honor and dignity i can do it again if need be i am the resurrection and the life Are you ready to pray I thought we'll have time so that I will share with you in my entire life I hope that we'll take it in some other series we didn't finish covering what I intended we'll cover tonight but there are nine of these mysteries that the Lord gave to me nine for an unbeatable spiritual life some of them whilst i learned them as i listened to our fathers of faith i had them saying the same thing expressing it in different ways nine when you find these keys you will stand and play life like you are playing a chess go this way go that way believe me i apologize if it sounds like pride behind results that work are these mysteries they are the defense systems of masters you stand and they become a garrison to you irrefutable backed up by the jealousy of god himself you can take it to any nation and take it anywhere people will think you are making noise till the result humbles them hear me we make our boast in the lord and on the strength of the mysteries we have held and these mysteries they are not for individuals they are for the body to be dispensed so that on the strength of these mysteries 
you can turn back and go rejoicing knowing that life can be at your command we command results intentionally i hope please do not miss any one of these i hope that god will grant grace and will touch all nine of them the mysteries that control fearful results in this life every student prepares for exams but it's the result that the marker when the lecturer marks they place it on the board you will come and see what you wrote there is that true how many of you remember people who will make a lot of noise after exam the answer is five the answer is ten whereas someone will just keep quiet as if he doesn't know anything that's the person you will see getting 95 97 and someone is making noise nonsense from morning till night and you find out that you will get seven or twelve God is bringing us to that place of mastery noiseless victory it is the results that will make the noise are you ready to pray prayer point number one Lord I am tired of shadow boxing around my destiny I want you to bring me to a place of quintessence a place of mastery spiritually financially and otherwise please lift your voice and pray we came to pray a few minutes of prayer are you praying he that strives for mastery is not proud except he strives lawfully the mysteries of the kingdom controlling results spiritual patterns leading men to predictable outcomes hallelujah look up please we are going to pray as we prepare to begin to feast on these mysteries in the coming weeks you're going to pray and say lord open my eyes understanding is a real miracle i'm telling you then open here their understanding that they might understand scripture are you ready to pray lord open my eyes to see may i see what my father did not see may i see what those who have gone ahead of me did not see in the name of jesus please pray please pray in the name of jesus the christ of god Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Scripture. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. 
and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you